Uh, Jessica, great to see you as always. Uh, everybody, it, it seems, including estimable characters like our own Brit Hume, who's seen more of these conventions than almost anybody, saying that this was a very good night for the Democrats. Very powerful speeches in Brit's view. Um, are Republicans quaking in their boots in the wake of this? No, Republicans are not quaking in their boots. You know, Barack Obama is always giving a good speech. This is what we've come to expect from him. And when you have a candidate who's known for their word salads, you need someone to come in and give that type of speech. But once again, we were very short on policies. President Obama and I can agree that there is a lot at stake in this election. Where we disagree is who is responsible for the position that we're in and who will fix things. And I believe, and I think a lot of Americans agree, that we need a plan. And we haven't heard that from the Harris campaign. We're now several weeks into her uh, campaign, and she still hasn't really laid out a plan to fix any of the many problems that Americans have. Isn't this, though, part of the conventions, Jessica? They are always much more about style than substance. Uh, would we have to get to the substance at some point, as you say, but uh, you don't you have to give everybody a pass this week because it is about style and they are looking, it seems, in, in most uh, experts' view, pretty stylish right now. And I think you're going to see that. You're going to see the honeymoon. You're going to see the sugar high. You're going to see the bump. But what we need to see is we need to see a sit down interview. We need to see her go in front of the press. We need to see her hit one of these debates. And I think that once you have those questions asked where she's not on a teleprompter, you're going to see who the real Kamala Harris is. And it's the same person that's been in office for three and a half years who does not have to wait until day one to fix any of the many problems. It's the same person that we've seen here in California for 20 years. And that is not going to change. And that is what Democrats are scared of and exactly why Republicans are not shaking in their boots. So what do you think Kamala Harris will do coming out of this convention? Do you expect her to continue to avoid the press, to continue to avoid real detailed policy answers? Or do you think she is just getting through uh, this convention, her coronation, if you like, and then she will tackle those big issues? Or do you think she's going to continue running from them? I think her strategists would be very smart to continue down the path that they are going down. I think what's going to be the key is going to be the media. The media needs to hold her accountable. We have seen 89 percent positive press coverage of Vice President Harris over the last several weeks. And the best she can do is about a tie. I think that once the media starts holding her accountable, once they start asking those tough questions, once they demand answers from her, you're going to see Americans really see what Kamala Harris is about. And we've seen it over the last 20 years, and it's not going to change uh, when she's elected, when she was elected president. We're all looking forward to the next uh, big moment, I guess, in this campaign, Jessica, will be the debate due for September 10th, if indeed it happens. Looks like it will at the moment, but you never know uh, with these two. Um, how do you think that'll shape up? What does a Trump-Harris showdown look like on a debate stage? Well, I think that the advantage certainly goes to President Trump. This is someone who stands in front of the press on a very regular basis, a press that is not a friendly press to him, and he answers tough questions all of the time. The second that Vice President Harris gets a tough question, she's running for the plane. And so I think that the advantage certainly goes to President Trump, and we'll see how everything shakes out over the next several weeks. Um, and the, the, the Democrats have not been shy about bashing Trump over the last couple of nights or in the last few years, obviously, as well. But the last couple of nights, he has been mentioned again and again and again in very disparaging terms. Uh, Mr. Trump, not one to turn the other cheek in those situations. It could be it could get nasty on that debate stage, too, I assume. It could get tough. I think what all Americans are hoping for is for a real policy discussion. I think that what we've been lacking from the Harris campaign, you know, you can go to her, her website and there's still no issues uh, tab to go to. I think that what people are looking for is a plan, a plan to fix our economy, a plan to fix our border, a plan to make our streets safer. I think that is what uh, Americans are looking for. And I think that's what we're hopeful we'll get in a debate between the two.
Uh, we shall see. Jessica Milan Patterson, uh, thank you so much, as always, for being here. Molly? And I'm still thank looking forward to that Biden. first press conference. Meanwhile, as the Democrats hold their convention in Chicago, former President Trump and his running mate.